Hello? Hello, it's me. Wow. Back to the double screen setup. But this time we're not going to be working straight on OpenCU Face GD. What we're going to be working on is this. Not this. Hold on. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, this thing here. Look at that. Looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're working on some live 2D stuff. So live 2D, that's your standard VTuber thing that most people are familiar with. It's the, you know, the animated sprite stuff. Yeah. So if I want to increase you know, the amount of people that would want to use OpenCFace GD. And then maybe I'll just keep this for VSS, so we'll just hold off on it. <laughs> but I want to increase the people, amount of people that want to use this. I would need to, you know, implement Live2D stuff. You know, Live2D is one of these it'll load when it loads. Oh, geez. Loaded onto the main screen. Yeah, see, there's a thing that I was working with. Uh, so I have this technically working, kind of, almost. It has to be in 3D, I think. Um, I, like, I could do it on like a 2D rendering background, but I feel like a lot of the graphics APIs that they're giving me from the file are actually meant to be used in OpenGL, um, which means I need to have access to the Z axis. <laughs> and I think in 2D, Godot hides the Z axis from you for good reasons, right? The Z axis is actually renamed to Z index. And then you just have access, you only have access to, uh, you know, X and Y. And then if you use a Transform 2D, let me see, what does Transform 2D do in Godot? Transform 2D, I believe this just gives you access to, oh, it doesn't even give you your, um, no, it does. One, zero, zero. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. Interesting. It does not give you access to your uh, quaternion. Okay. Anyways, that's that's what we're working with right now. I need to push this to a new branch, I think. So the current thing that's available on GitHub right now is... Uh, hold on. What is the thing that's currently available on GitHub? It is... Any, any movement on this? Motherfucker. Okay. Uh, so live 2D test project. Yeah, the current master branch, or as you may <laughs> notice, it's called the Senpai branch. Yeah. That's only in 2D. What we're trying to do is make this work in 3D because I need access to the Z index, I think. And then more importantly, I need the ability to kind of overlay shaders. So if apply multiple shaders all at the same time. 
because I was looking at another implementation of this from the Vignet project. Oh, hello, Ninamas. Hello, hello. How are you today? I'm working on this. Let me let me just show this off really quick. Look at that. Wow. So, what I need to add, I'm working on live TV stuff. Uh, you may have noticed from the Discord. Uh, and so, even though it is like in the name, it's 2D, I need to actually render this in 3D because this requires multiple shader passes, multiple render passes. Um, because I need to apply like a like a mask texture to the other arm parts cuz uh you might be thinking like am I, is this person supposed to have multiple arms and the answer is no I think what I actually have on Discord she actually has six arms maybe hold on yeah she actually has six arms Wait, hold on. So did I accidentally fix something? Oh my god, he's accidentally fixed something. He's so good. <laughs> so I've implemented part of it. I've implemented part of it, I think. Um, I just need to figure out what's going on with these arms here. So for some reason, I've made some sort of change. And we're not getting like the, the multiple hands, the multiple crossed hands. Now we're only getting crossed hands and uh, a pose, so that's good. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, I need to push some code really quick. I have implemented a lot of this via. Uh, let's see. Godot Cubism. So under the VSS project, this is all implemented via Rust. So it's actually somewhat nice. Actually somewhat nice. Look at that. <clears throat> so it's wrapping another Rust library, which is meant for like loading live 2D models in <laughs> for use in Rust. And all I do is I forward all of that stuff into Godot. Which is pretty neat. Pretty neat. But now I need to figure out like what am I supposed to do for drawing? So I'm, I'm looking at some multiple implementations of drawing. So the Rust stuff comes with their own implementation. I don't know how good it is because I wasn't able to get I guess the more complicated one running. Uh, because that requires like raw SDL2 libraries, but <laughs> I don't have those installed. So, ugh, we don't need those. And then there's also a C Sharp implementation that I was looking at as well. It's called Vignette. Vignette, not Vignette, Vignette. <laughs> Vignette is a French word, so which means that you don't say certain parts of it. So looking at Vignette, they actually use shaders for uh, like displaying stuff. And I think that's the approach I'm going to try to go with. That's a bit more difficult because shaders are scary. And it's also like somewhat difficult to, I guess, emulate <laughs> as well. But I, I, first I need to, I need to push. Or I guess I need to branch off. So this is 3D. Get add all. Let's see. I think if you're trying to move to Linux, this is a site that you're going to have to get used to. Because <laughs> this is this is the pretty much the same terminal that you would get in, um, in Ubuntu. Yeah, I, I guess Ubuntu is actually more menu driven or UI driven since they have the Ubuntu updater or whatever it's called. Not a huge fan of that. It's always been pretty slow in my experience as opposed to just hitting like a, you know, sudo app update, sudo app upgrade. 
you know. Uh... <clears throat> That's not how you do it. 